All right, so I'm going to show you how to end a row when you've kind of come to the end of the yarn that you're using, and then also how to incorporate your other materials. So this is called a mixed media weaving, which just means that you're using stuff that's other than yarn. Mixed media just means that you're using a lot of different materials and um, you're kind of like mixing them up. So let me show you how to end my section first and then I'll show you how to incorporate other stuff. Um, so you can see that my first section of yarn, the blue yarn, is pretty dense. Um, you can see it kind of has like a nice, even, regular pattern with the over under going on with it. And I don't have, an, I have probably enough to go one, one more way across, but I didn't want to leave myself too short. Um, so I'm going to end it here and then I'm just going to add in another material. So the way that I started it, right, is I wrapped my yarn around the white thread and then made a little loop and pulled that through. So I'm going to end it the same way. So I'm going to take the end of my yarn, which you shouldn't, you shouldn't have too much left over, so you shouldn't have a lot to deal with. And I'm going to wrap it around my white thread. So the same thing, I'm making like a little loop. And you've got to pull, pull, pull. And you can see it kind of turning into this like little lasso right here, right? This little circle. And then I'm just going to take my end and I'm going to put it through my circle. So that's everything that you're doing. You're always taking the end and you're putting it through the loop. And you just pull, pull, pull. And that'll tie it off. If you want to do it again, just to make sure that it's extra secure, Right, once again, I take my end, I'm going to put it under my last string. I have my circle here, circle, 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 end through the circle, and pull. Okay, and then if you want to kind of clean this up, so you don't have to deal with all this like extra hanging off, you can just take your scissors and trim it. Right, you could do that with your first one too if you want. All right, so I have a couple different things. I have some straws, um, which I'm going to put in, and I have my leftover um, paper quilt paper. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a strip of my paper. And I'm just going to cut a strip on the short side. All right, and when you're weaving your mixed media through here, it only has to go through once. You don't have to like wrap it around. So what I mean by that is you're going to start with under, over. And I just use my fingers to kind of pull the string aside. But I'm just pushing my paper right through. So just like that. All right, so using your mixed media is a good way to um, kind of use up the space in your weaving, right? Because now I'm, you know, I've taken up about an inch and a half of space um, just by that one strip of paper, okay? Where it took me, you know, 20 minutes to do um, half an inch of yarn. So you're, you're going all the way to the bottom of your loom, you know, using these materials is a good way to kind of, you know, fill in the space. Um, if you were doing the straw, it would be the same thing. Under, over. Under. All right, so you only have to fit it through once. If you use foil, you could cut a strip of that. Some people have used um, twigs. If they find in the backyard, you can just kind of like feed a twig through. The only thing you really need to remember for your mixed media is it just has to be slightly longer than your than your loom. You want it to have a little bit of extra space because then it will it will hold in there. You also want to make sure that your mixed media is um, yarn, alternative material, yarn, alternative material, yarn, alternative material. You don't want to have paper, straw, twig, foil, and then only have yarn at the beginning and the end because the yarn is actually is what's like holding everything in place. So that's why you have, you know, the four different varieties of yarn. So I'm going to put yarn in between my paper and my straw. And I put my, put another strip of paper, another straw, um, 
and kind of, you know, go from there. You need to have two different materials. So right now I have a straw and I have paper. So I've covered myself on my two different materials and they need to show up five times in your weaving. All right. So I have two, I have it twice. I have paper, straw. So now I need to either figure out, am I going to do three more strips of paper? Am I going to do three more straws? Am I going to, you know, have maybe one more straw and two more strips of paper. Um, but you need to have at least two different materials and they have to show up at least five times. And you want to make sure that you're alternating your yarn, your material, your yarn, your, your alternate, um, your mixed media material. All right. Um, when you are taking your process shot, you're just going to take a process shot halfway done and then a process shot, um, when you are completely done. So this way, I just know that it was your own work, but that's going to be it for the process shots. And then we'll put our finished weavings on the Jamboard.